So last Halloween, we made a video on why you shouldn't ghost a recruiter. But what if it's the other way around? Hi, I'm Jocelyn with ISGF. We are a recruiting firm with over 30 years of experience matching exceptional people with America's most prestigious companies. If you found this video, you probably got contacted by a recruiter letting you know that you qualify for a position they are trying to fill. You applied for the role, had an initial conversation, then several weeks passed and you didn't hear back. Getting ghosted by a recruiter is not uncommon, and the reason could be as simple as they were too busy to call you, or as complicated as the recruiter having an extended negotiation period with the client. It is important to know that recruiters work for their clients, and sometimes clients ask recruiters to find more candidates to interview before making a hiring decision. They put the role on hold or open new higher priority roles. These factors elongate the hiring process and can result on the recruiter not contacting you for an extended period of time. Then the actual question is, what can you do if you think you got ghosted? First, you can try contacting your recruiter through email or giving them a call. Ask about your application status and if there's anything you can start working on to expedite the process once the next step in the hiring process takes place. A good recruiter will reply and explain why the hiring is taking longer than expected or if there were any updates that you were not notified about. Second, you can try applying to more than one position. Your recruiter will probably contact you if other roles that you qualify open up but not all job posts are assigned to that same recruiter. Recruiting firms like ISGF have their current job openings on their website. So give them a visit and let your recruiter know if you apply to a job. That way they can notify the recruiter responsible for filling that role. Last, try contacting the recruiting firm directly. You might still not receive a response from your recruiter after trying to contact them. This can happen because the recruiter no longer works at the firm or maybe they had to take some time off due to an emergency. Whatever the case may be, contacting the firm might give you an insight on the status of your application or information on which recruiter is now in charge of filling the role you applied to. I hope these tips give you an idea of why you might lose contact with a recruiter and how to approach the situation. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on social media to stay up to date on all your job seeking and career tips. This is Jocelyn with ISGF and we'll see you next time.